Hello, welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, we're looking at springtime. Um, I know we're still in winter. I know we're, you know, between Christmas and New Year, etc. But spring's just round the corner and I do love spring. So I thought we would use this lovely stamp set. It is huge. You've got so much on here. Really love it. It is from All and Create. And it is designed by Tracy Evans and it's called Friendship Florals number 648. But if you are limited in what you can get, if you get just one stamp set like this, you've got all sorts of images from birds to florals to, you know, little background ones and sort of anywhere in between. So this is one I'd highly recommend. I think it's lovely and, you know, the stamps are really good size. So what I've done is I've taken the blue tit and I have stamped him out and then I've done the masking only because I want to do some bits around the side and things and I don't want too much going on and I want to just have it one layer. So I'm going to take some colours and this one I think I'm going to do in um, blues. So it's going to be a blue tit. So let's have this blue um let's have a this blue i want quite pale blues and then we'll probably have a neutral to just tie it in which is what i tend to do so these are stamping up colors um they are i don't even know if they're i know marina mist is retired um, I don't know whether Crumb Cake and Pool Party are still um, available because I'm not a stamping up, um, you know, I don't buy stamping up products anymore. Um, but these are the colours we're going to use. I've got a brush here, which I'm just going to see if there's anything on it. There's probably a little bit of sort of greeny blues and things in there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, which is off the brush from what I used before. Then we're going to have some of this, which is um, the pool party. So it is um, quite a paley, a paley one. In fact, I think it's probably a bit paler than I imagine. Let's get some more. I think some of these I need to re-ink. Now I'm going over my image because we're going to colour it in, but I'm not going over too much, if you see what I mean. Oh yes, this is coming out quite nice and blue. So that's a different colour blue. So you've got your sort of blue and your green. Then I'm going to take this one, which is Marina Mist, which is sort of a middle blue. And again, I've got lots of ink refills for these so I can just put some extra ink on there if I want to. As I say, I don't mind doing having the blue sort of coming in underneath because I've got, um, we're going to colour this with alcohol markers, which is why I stamp it in to start off with and leave it for a while. So that then when you do use alcohol, even though I've used Versafine, Versafine is my absolute favourite ink Um and I don't know whether, whether it's Vers I don't mind Versafine or Versafine Claire or sort of anything in between. But the Versafine, <laughs> the clues in the name, it's fine. And that for me just makes it absolutely lovely. So you have this really sort of fine look to it, which I think is lovely. OK, so those are my colours. I've got a little bit blobby at the bottom, but I don't think that'll matter too much. Um, that's all I'm going to do on that, I think. But I want to do some stamping over the top. And I think I'm probably going to choose this blue, actually. Because I think that'll work quite well. So let's take this set again and see what we've got on here. Um, that I can use to just sort of stamp over the edges and sort of around to give a bit of extra texture. Now I'm going to use this flower and I'm going to use this one with the dots in it I think um, or I might choose 
says me, I might just move out of the way and just grab one from down here, um, which I think is, oops, no, that's my, just having a look to see on here. Nope, that's not the one I'm looking for. I've got quite a few now, so I keep looking for different ones that I quite like. There's nothing on there. It's funny, isn't it? Whenever you're looking for something, you can never find it. And you'll probably find I've got it up on here because I've used it previously. Right, let's have a little look and see if I've got it up on here. And guess what? It's there. <laughs> Just shows the ones that I use more often than the others. I'm going to stick those up on there now. Um, this is one of my absolute favourites because it's great for doing the backgrounds and you just get a really good look to it. It's called, what's it called? Garden Notes, um, number 909. Um, so it's just, oh, it's just lovely. Really do like this one. So I want to just do some little bits and I don't want it to be overpowering. So I'm not doing it in black. I'm going to do it in, to take the back off and the front off. So I'm going to do it in um, the blue. And I don't want it all over. I'm just going to do some little bits at the edges, I think. So let me just ink it up. And then I'm just going to take it and just do some little bits at the side there like that. And then a little bit in like that. And then this is going to be this side, isn't it? So I want to just try and get a little bit in like that. Then maybe a little bit in on there, a little bit like that. And you can see I haven't re-inked because you quite often, says me, there was a bit where I didn't have anything on, but quite often you have just a little bit. So I'm just going to just re-ink that little bit. So you can get little bits coming in that you don't need to sort of do it overly i want to leave the robin a little bit because i don't want too much on there so i think that's probably going to be about right we'll um, we'll just have to see once we start doing a bit of coloring um get my cloth out but i think the robin's really rather pretty um And robins are great when they're coloured in, so we're going to have a little go at colouring this robin in. So let's take this one off and put it back on there and I will finish all the bits on it when I've come to the end. Let's put that up on there. Um, now I don't think I need anything more on that side so I can take these bits off. These are just... oh. If only we could get this in the UK. This is just the, it's a game changer. Scotch removable tape. Not low tack tape, not whatever, removable tape. And it just peels off like butter. None of this, you, um, the um, lady who gave it to me, who gave it to me from America, she's one of my subscribers, has been with me for a long time watching my channel. And um, she turned around and sent me some and as I say, look, I don't have to detack it. I don't have to do anything with it. It is just absolutely brilliant. So I'm delighted with that. So that's given us the nice little border, which is what we wanted. And now we've got the blue tit on there, which I need to. Let's have a look at my colour swatch. I want to have the branch. Probably a mid sort of brown, so around about the 94 I think will work on that, and maybe 99. So let's get 94 and 99 if I've got it. 99's there, that's the dark one. Have I got 94? 
um, I'm looking off camera because I'm the up that's 94 so those are my browns and then the actual blue tip face is going to be let's try 67 I think that's going to be about right and then the rest of the bird is going to be probably 101 let's try a bit of 101 shall we and see I might have to blend that in a little bit with one of the darker ones but we'll try that to start off with and just see now colouring a blue tit you've got to get the right bit of blue in the right bit of the other so what I tend to do is and I will show you because it's the easiest way if you're looking to colour anything in is to go and get your phone so let me have a look on here and I'm just going to very quickly put on here um, let's have a look and see right so I just need to put on here type it in loot it Let's help if I can spell it, doesn't it? Did I not? My eyesight's not very good for doing these. Um, there we go. No. Gracious me. There we go. That's it. Now, let me just have a little look. Which one are we going to use? So if I choose this. I just want it about the right sort of size. So let's do, can I put it on images? Yes. That's perfect. Okay, so let's take this one. Just bring it up a bit and you can see, hopefully on there, that gives you the uh, um, the colouring. So I want to do, let me do my blue bits first. So it's not brown, is it? It's more yellow. So we need blue for the top of the head. Like this. And then, whoops, don't want it to come here. Where has it gone? Blue for the top of the head. Blue on the wing the lower part of the wing coming up on here to about there like that down on the oops down on the tail come on there we are down on the chair and then we want a, um, a sort of a yellowy mustard colour don't we so let me have a look and see where's my swatches to see we want a yellow mustard colour so um, that's probably about right 31 let's see if I can find 31 because that will work perfectly because you've got quite a lot of um, white and a bit of black on the um, the mask part so 31 is going to be the yellow part so that has to come down on here like this which is quite nice sort of mustardy colour just in on the top and just in on the top of that bit of wing we don't want the whole of the wing coming in and then underneath here and this is why I tend to look things up so I can get the colouring right because the last thing you want is to colour in a bird and it looks absolutely nothing like the bird so you know it's the same as if you go like what colour beak is this bird you know look it up because it's the easiest way to do it so need to go back onto my blue again I 
and I can bring this in so that it just comes in on top because the top of this was in that sort of two-toned colour, wasn't it? Let me have a look. There we are. So it's sort of two-toned on there, isn't it? This is blue on the top, which you're not going to see very much because obviously that's... Well, in fact, I think I'm going to do it down on here because I think it should come sort of almost down like this. And then that... You want a dark colour on here, which is almost black. So I need a a grey sort of black, don't I? What have we got on here? Um, CG9. That looks quite dark, doesn't it? CG9, yes, it is. So I'm going to do just the little bit along here. So from the beak, just up on here. Past where the eye is. Like that. Get my colour back up again. So we need to have a little bit more on this one. In fact, I might take this one, I think, is one that is um, a blender. So it means I can take some of the colour out a little bit because I want to make this a little bit bluer on the top. So I'm just going to take this out a bit. See how that comes. Yes, that's getting a bit paler, isn't it? Let's take this a little bit bluer. just want to get a little bit more because it's that sort of browny blue through on here that's better a little bit up on here now that should be how a blue tit looks so I need to just do the um, branch so that's, I think that's one of the darker ones. So let's do dark underneath on the branch. Let's do that to there. And then, hopefully this is going to be a little bit paler. It might, I might have done it the other way round, but we'll see. Just have a little look on this. Oh, that's not too bad. Very similar, actually. Like that. Let's go back with the dark one and just do that in at the bottom. Take my phone away now because I've got the colour tones that I wanted so it looks like a blue tit. And not some other strange bird. There we go. Um, and I think that this probably could be a little bit yellower. Because I've got it more sort of a mustardy colour, haven't I? So I'm just going to just put some of this on, which makes it a little bit yellower. Okay, that's better so that's that color and in fact while I'm at it let's just take this and do this in yellow shall we so that's the yellow on there and I'm going to do blue underneath shall we be a little bit careful around here so I don't smudge it because as I say when I use alcohol markers I've left it the 
oh I don't know not long enough I tend to if I'm going to be colouring over with alcohol markers a lot then I will either dot it like this so I'm not smudging it or if I want to go over the top of it I will wait for you know a day until it's really dried out okay so that's on there now what I wanted to do was there's another part of this that I really liked which is Feathered Friend. I quite like that. And I think I want to try and put that in. Have a little look and see. I can get this out of here. And I'm going to put this. I'm going to see if I can get it to come down on here and maybe up on there. I think I'm going to have to stamp it and cut it out because it's not, um, I've got to break it up a bit, I think. So let me have a look and see if I've got, I should have a bit of scrap somewhere. That looks like a good scrap, doesn't it? Will that fit on there? We will have to see, won't we? Um, right, ink pad um, it's underneath my phone. So let's put this across like this, like that. Now, because it's long and wobbly, let it relax first and then pick it up like that. That's better. And then I can do it in. I'm going to do it in black, I think. Or do I do it in the blue as well? I'm going to do it in the blue just to keep it all in the same sort of hue. So I don't think I want it that dark. We'll see. If I do want it a little bit... Um, darker then what I can do is I can stamp it on the other side so let's have a little look on here and see oops feathered friend does that go like that no it probably does need to be in the black it's quite nice quite soft like that isn't it but I don't know um I think black will stand out more, won't it? Let's well up. I've got one on one side, one on the other, and then we can see which one we think's the best. So let's just do that side and then turn it over. And I've got to try and get it in so that it fits. It's only just, just, just fits in on here, doesn't it? Do I have it like that, that way? Or do I have it on the blue? I think I'm going to have it on the blue, actually. I quite like that blue, even though I've missed it off at the bottom, but I don't think that matters. So I'm just going to take that there. Take that bit there. And then the feathered part going to take this like that Put that right up tight so that it comes in the same as the other okay so we've got we can have feathered up there and we can have friend down on there Think that will work okay so let me just put the feathered bit on here just glue that up I do like doing spring cards with a nice soft palette let's just bring that across just a tad like that and then we'll have the friend bit down at the bottom and I put this one just down here like that 
Now I need to have a look and see what um, I've got this one, which has got sort of that bluey spotty bit on it, which I think is quite nice. And I think that will tone in beautifully. So that's the one that we're going to use because this will tone in beautifully in with those colours like that. OK, so what I need to do now is we've got to finish this off. So I need to get my um, Posca pens out. I'm just doing up my... pens so that they don't all fall down because they're all in a case so I can put those up in there out there for a minute um, and now I need I think I put all of them away didn't I? I try and be tidy sometimes and then I look at it and I go did I put them away no I didn't so they're obviously out on here somewhere I must have put right here's my gold for my silvers on there and I just want I should have a sparkly one somewhere because I want to put some sparkly bits on there but if I can't find it I'll have to use something that isn't quite so sparkly um, have I oh yes I can see them right give me two seconds to just put these inks away whoa sorry wobbling you Right, ink there, ink there. Um, I just want to get my sparkly ones out because I really like those. I can't reach them. Yes, I can. Okay, so these are all my Poscas out now because I find using those finishes off a card. So these are going to be with the silver. So the first bit I'm going to do is round the edges because then I don't have to worry about um, splattering over on the top because I've already done my edges. So we've got silver, give them a shake, get the ball bearing to, to move. And then we can put a bit down the side going to be quite subtle but I don't mind that because the silver just gives a little bit of a twinkle on there which is what we want so the edges are just going to have this pale piece of silver coming through which is lovely and then I need to do it round on here so I'm just going to do like this. I'm doing it with a fat one this time because it's going to go up onto the edge plus round the side and there's enough room to do that so like that and then that goes in like that then we just do the same with the other one I love those blues and um, the background just looks lovely so you can see why I've done this first because if I'd done all my splatters first it would have um, it would have got in the way so that's worked perfectly on there now I just need to do some splattering let's put the lid on here um, and I want to do I think I'm going to try it with this one, see if that comes out. Give that a shake. And then I need something to hit it with. So that's what I'm going to use, the end of a bone folder. And I just want to that comes out, but it's quite pale, which is fine. So that's the start with the silver. Now I want to take this blue, this is a rather nice blue, this one, and it will work perfectly with the other colours. So I've got this blue and I've got this darker blue, and I'm going to use both of those because they've both got a bit of a sparkle on them, and it means I can take this out 
and then can you see how this is coming out quite nicely beautiful and then i'm going to take the slightly paler one and do exactly the same thing like that and then to just finish it off so these are going to give a little bit of a sparkle on there um, to finish it off I'm going to try with the black um, and I'm saying I'm trying because that I'm using these a lot so there's not quite as much splatter on them but we'll see oh yes that's all right That just darkens it up a bit. And that just gives me what I'm looking for with that. Now, I want a few larger ones. And I find the easiest way to do the larger ones for me because I can't get even splatters. So what I tend to do is, here we are, I've got the big silver one out, which we did for the things, is to just literally dot them. And as long as I dot them sort of randomly, it, um, it doesn't look as if I've just dotted them, if you see what I mean. It gives that sort of random look. So let's put these up on here. And then I'm going to take this down on here. And then this is going to go in on this one. Because that just finishes it off beautifully, I think. And there we are, we've got Feathered Friend on there. Beautiful colourings in there. And another nice spring card. So I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.